Funimation and Crunchyroll. Two well-known anime services are becoming one, with Crunchyroll becoming the main streaming services as Funimation's library will merge with Crunchyroll's. What does it actually mean? And what has people not been telling you in videos that's spreading way too much misinformation? I'm gonna be here to try to break it down for you, the best I can. No bullshit, all facts. So welcome to my video. Then every step forward will always be a step closer to home. My name is Oki Roxas99, and I am an anime fan. I've been an anime fan since the 90s with things like the early days of things like Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, Pokemon, Cardcaptor Sakura, Yu Hakusho, I guess a little bit of Moni Kenshin, a little bit of One Piece. I was an anime fan for much of my life. And of course, I found Funimation with some of their series. And I learned of Crunchyroll and been, been a subscriber to Crunchyroll for majority of my life. And I had, around 2018, when I had the money, I subscribed to both of them. So I keep up with anime and also a lot of news, as well as support the official release the best I can. Now, one thing is to make this very clear, and I know I'm probably going to have some weird people in the comments, don't ask why, but I'm not on any side, and I don't really have a beef at Funimation because really they haven't really hurt me, mentally or physically. And really, if you really want to get a better idea of what's going on, you can check my Twitter where I do talk about a lot of weird stuff going on. But this video is talking about the merger of... Funimation and Crunchyroll. Now, let me clear up the first thing that has been spread very quickly. That unfortunately happens when people like spreading misinformation because it gets views and clicks. Funimation is not over. What's really going on is, well, a while back, Sony acquired both Crunchyroll and Funimation. And it was a wait for when the merge would do something. We were all patiently waiting on when we'll get some on when we'll finally get some information on when this merge happens. So back on March 1st, we finally got to hear that Funimation will be merging their streaming service library with Crunchyroll, making a very bigger library and less hassle of having two services you're paying for or having you're paying for. I'm paying for, like, Crunchyroll, Funimation, High Dive, Verve, but Verve and Crunchyroll are the same thing, but you get my point. And this means, and this is something to clear up the first, so this is not the end of Funimation as a whole. This is just their streaming service, which has how always has been mentioned had a lot of issues. Their service, is, their streaming services library is gonna go merge with Crunchyroll. I don't, we don't have a full idea what's gonna happen to their main service, the main streaming service. I feel it's just not gonna be as updated as often. It's probably gonna still be there as they slowly try to merge domains together. Again, let. Let me emphasize this very clearly. This is not the end for Funimation. Too many videos have been spreading this misinformation because, well, that's what YouTube does. Instead of actually being honest with the facts, it basically will tell lies for, on you because it, that's what Twitter does. That's what social media does. Even though you have the, the official video that explains it. You have a tour 
of the app by Jason Briner. You have two articles by both Crunchyroll and Funimation explaining the merger. You still have people spreading misinformation on sites, on YouTube, and a lot of people thinking this is the end because they still hold a lot of grudges from petty stuff from like years ago. And as much as I would love to tell you, my video and a lot of my own channel is not about that drama because I'm not one to be putting my channel evolved into this drama, but the only reason why I want to do this video is to clear up a lot of the misinformation that is being spread. So let me kind of explain the first thing. What is this merger? Well, what Mission Crunchyroll are two well-known services in the US. They also have a lot of branches in other places. They're also slowly growing their branches to other regions so their services can be available to other places. It's a slow but kind of a slow process, but it's getting more people to the service, but it's going to take a lot of time. Uh, how do I explain this? You know how a lot of shows are not available or not available in one country? It's a lot of region stuff. It's kind of why a lot of games are don't a lot of Japanese imports don't work for the American versions of consoles because they are either region or region locked. They're locked to only the region they were pro processed. Some consoles are region free, like the PlayStation 4 and the Switch. Weirdly enough. So what this means is this merger is going to give all these series to one place instead of going to the services for different ones. Now, this is not the first time Crunchyroll and Funimation have worked together. In 2016, they had a partnership for, I'd say, up two years, 2016 2018, which meant more dubs, more subs, more series going to that, going to either either system, I mean, either service. Which lasted a little while, but it didn't last long. It lasted 2018, and more recently, Verb is losing a lot of its services. It's left with Crunchyroll, um, it's Crunchyroll, Mod, um, Crunchyroll, uh, Verb Select, which has a lot of Shout Factory, um, series, and like, I think one service for cartoons. So they really don't they really don't have a lot of services left, but I don't see Verb disappearing anytime soon, but might try to acquire other services to keep it going. We'll have to see for yourself. Again, this is not the end of Funimation or Crunchyroll or even dubbing as a whole. Now how much of now? How much of the serve of their library is going to Crunchyroll? Well, if there's one series that's not on Crunchyroll, that's been added by Funimation. And if there's a, and if there's one language not available on Crunchyroll, it now has that language. So now, for shows like Black Clover, for like shows like Black Clover. Dragon Ball Super, Naruto, which has like this most of its uh, episodes in dubbed, Inyasha, which has some of its episodes dubbed. Now it, it adds that to its library. Now of course it just, of course um, things like they're still gonna have you're gonna know it's still owned by Funimation if it has their their um their bumper. So it's still gonna be owned by them because can you gotta remember they have their distribution service. Their, dis their distribution for like DVDs and stuff like that, and also merch. So that's still gonna be there. Now, I'm again. I wanna emphasize this one very carefully. 
Now, there was a bit of worry that everyone will lose their job, but Kitten Glass has cleared it up that no, it's just gonna become, they're just go, it's still gonna be the same, it's not gonna really change that much. So no one's gonna really lose a job. Now, something that has been talked about for a couple of days since this merger is union, is more union dubs. Now, a union dub, now, people don't understand what union dub means, but let me kind of explain it. It means, you know, better work pay, better, you know, better work pay, better, you know, wages, you know, safer environment, so, you know, there's less, you know, bad people that could be a part of it, and more actual, fo more focus of, hey, you know, we want to make sure we still have the best product ever, but we want to make sure that people are paid well and the workplace is safe. This is also kind of why, you know, there's a lot of why, like, oh, non-union? There's a lot of, like, a lot of sketchy stuff that happens with non-union stuff, because there's a lot of that stuff that's going on where people are getting themselves you know, hurt, or they're getting themselves in these sketchy situations that are hurting people. Now, like I said, this has nothing to do with a lot of the drama that has been going on. Where, where, okay, and what people say on social media, no one's a guard dog. No one is policing what someone does on Twitter. And really a lot of this silly drama and no nonsense is not for anyone to understand or, or care. That's what I'm trying to explain here. Now, what does the merger contain in sense? So I mentioned before that it's going to bring together both companies. So really, their companies are still going to be the same. Like their companies are still going to be independent on certain things. For example, what is what is a product by Funimation? What is a product by Crunchyroll? They're so independent and separate. So, for example, things like Odd Taxi, the Land Arcade, Kill Love or Kill Love or Kill, Love to Kill Love or Kill, uh, a lot of the new stuff that, that Crunchyroll was working on with Studiopolis are all still separate. So really, the only thing that's really different is that they're just two companies coming together, but their stuff is more independent. It's kind of like the Sony requirements. They, while they're all part of the Sony studio, they're all still independent in some way. You see what I mean? This has this is, does not mean both. It's going to be the end for either. They're just becoming one bigger company. Okay, so they're becoming one bigger company. Am I? Do I have to? Will I have to get rid of my Funimation account and get a Crunchyroll? Yes. Yes or no? I guess. I think that they're gonna slowly merge the Crunchyroll account, Crunch the Funimation service into Crunchyroll. I mean, that service is gonna be no more, but the service is going to be there. But it's gonna still be using the main service of. Crunchyroll. So their streaming service will just be Crunchyroll's now and vice versa. Will the price increase? No, the prices will still be the same. But you still have the same Crunchyroll tier system, which I pay for I pay ten dollars, so I have the fan tier service, so I have that. So I got the main stuff. But not as much. Once I get, once the merger does happen, the service ends for Funimation. I'm just gonna be paying for Crunchyroll and High Dive, which are my two main services anyway. High Dive gives me Sentai, Sentai Filmworks, by the way. Okay, so will we still get? Will we still get Samo dubs? Yes, we still get Samo cast, Samo dubs. And once we so once we hit spring in like a couple of weeks, we're gonna start getting our spring at, at our spring shows, 
and we'll find out which group is working on which group, but they're going to be becoming one group, meaning that all be working together on the same series. It's just, you know, they're going to be still doing their separate things. Is... Is their stores going to be separate? Yes. The only thing that is going to be phased out is their, serp, their streaming service, which has again had issues. And of course, you know, they have, they slowly kind of got rid of the con of the discussions because, to be fair, you could you could find like the spam you can find spam on there, and it was not that fun. So I think I'm happy that I no longer in the comments. But hey. What can you do? Nice, everybody. Get yeah, let's do this. But it is also more a business strategy of how Sony is handling its um, different departments and making sure each of them does something different. Makes sense, I guess? So, things like... Things like their main site, like Funimation's so site that announces that that stuff and things like their store, it's still going to be there. Crunchyroll stores, they're going to probably have some stuff that is from Funimation store integrated. But it's still going to be separate. You know what I mean? But this does not mean that it's the end of Funimation. It does not mean that 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 Sony, Sony bit Funimation away, stuff like that. A lot of it's misinformation, but I'm not gonna go into. That is why in the video description, which you should check out down below, if I have the official article by both Crunchyroll and Funimation. I have the official videos by Crunchyroll and Funimation. I have the tour of the app by Justin Briner, because those are official, those are accurate to what's going on. Not a lot of spreading information that is going on. None of this bullshit. Which is not helping. So, another thing I guess I can say is what is, go what is going to be the major change? Well, for one, and I'm talking about something that I have mentioned before, I'm mentioning already, is the whole union dubs. Is that Break, uh, making sure there is a safer workplace, you know, better pay. But I think not just for dub, but also for everyone who works on it, because there's a lot of hard work that goes into making English dubs that a lot of people don't get. A lot of this misinformation people have about dubs really hasn't been helping, and I feel like we need to get more people to actually not spread all this misinformation and all this bad stuff because they hold a lot of these grudges from five years ago, six years ago, you name it. And that's something I really don't like is how people are spreading misinformation and they're spreading all this because they're, they hold all these grudges. They hold all these petty grudges and don't do their research. And that's what I don't like is that people are just spreading information and they're not giving the facts. Because for them, no facts don't give me reviews. But making these drama videos will. And that's what's very bad about this whole situation. Is that there's too many videos that are spreading this information very quickly. And I hope that people see this video and realize, okay, something is not right. Because why does it not why does it have a flashy thumb this flashy thumbnail? Why doesn't it have all this text? Why doesn't it have this one guy who who has not been relevant since 2019? I'm not saying his name on this channel. Has anything to do with it. Again, this is why I want to make sure that I, when I did this video, I want to make sure that I have all my bare facts of what I know, what I do know. So, you kind of get my idea. And really, as much as I really would love to make this a long video, I do to finish this up. So, I guess let me finish up one more topic on this merger and what is going to change going forward. Are we gonna see? Are the two still set? Are two still separate? I say that if you if you go to if we do return to going cons again, they're gonna they're gonna have their booths very close to each other. So they're gonna have like one area where both their booths are close together. So they're going to have 
hey, this is our booth for sales, our DVD, our merch. Hey, this is our booth for, um, hey, you can um, get some swag for being a, a premium member. This is going to be, mean they're going to have a bigger area to do stuff that they never did before. You know what I mean? So, really, what's really happening is we're seeing two services becoming much a stronger service. And I think that is going to be a big deal as this has a lot of an issue with Monopoly. People will either defend Microsoft's monopoli monopolization, but they will then chastise anyone else. And that's something that really needs to be said and that really needs to be heard more is the truth. And I really do hope people take into consideration of what you hear and put some bare facts into this. If you don't want to believe me, that's fine. But you should not believe everything you're said by your usual suspects who come who come full swing to spread information to spread misinformation because that's all they do. So my final thoughts is I'm very excited to kind of move much of my anime to just Crunchyroll more because I have a lot of shows that I am I have on Crunchyroll that I should be watching but I never finish and because I'm kind of spread between three services Netflix, Crunchyroll, Funimation I'm always all over the place and I probably put most of my Saturdays on Yashihime and Digimon because those I put a lot of commitment for. I watch those every day. And I'm adding, you know, my dress up darling to the to the uh, rotation. And those stories I those are stuff I put a commitment to, you know? So that is kinda where I stand on this whole situation. Is that I will kinda will still be watching these shows, I'm still going to be supporting both companies, and I'm going to actually finish my 2021 shows because the one show I need to finish, I have to finish all JoJo's Bizarre Adventure before I even talk about Stone Ocean Part 1, and it sucks. I love the show, but I have a long way to go, so by the time of the end of the year, before part 2 is out announced for Stone Ocean, or how many parts it is, because I feel like it's going to be about 40 episodes or so, I have a long way to go. I have a lot of stuff I need to catch up on. So, to wrap this video up, is I want people who do come across this video to listen to, you know, fact, not fiction. Don't just follow your anger to a company who done really nothing to you. Don't follow all the stuff on Twitter because you're angry. Please listen to what is before you. And if you really are an anime fan, support the official release. Actually support it. Anime is not free. And I wish people would understand that. It took me years to understand that. And now I have money to support you know, watching it officially. I don't have to wait a week later to watch an episode. And that's what I feel. And I understand a lot of plights over services, over not available. But I feel people who, who if you're going to spend, if you're going to spend your time complaining about an app, then you have more, then it seems like you're caring more about, I better get my anime now, than not hoping it gets better. Please, support the official release. Don't do all this pirating stuff. Don't do all this petty stuff. You are better than this. You're adults. I hope you are. So I hope this video does a good job explaining the merger the best I can. And again, please please look to the description for the article by Crunchyroll and Funimation, their announcement video, and the app tour. Please watch those videos. Please read those articles we do we want I do not want a lot of this misinformation spread too much I don't want misinformation spread too much on the situation and I wish people would not be doing this 
So from me, OPRox99, I will see you next time for a probably no discussion video. Hopefully nothing about this, because I think I am done. I have other discussions I want to talk about. Something more actually happier news, and I don't want to. I don't want. I am not here to make a hundred videos or clickbaiting one situation or clickbaiting a podcast and spreading out many views possible to it. I am. I'm a person who cares about the truth. Whether you want to believe me, that's up to you. I'll see you next time. Take care and bye.